For those of you who have been following news out of Ottawa in the last few uh, the last few days, it, Justin Trudeau's he's had quite quite the week. Um, about ten days ago, we found out that Jody Wilson Rabel, the former Justice Minister of uh, Canada was apparently alleged to have had political pressure put on her from the Prime Minister's office in the how she was managing or dealing with a, a very high profile case of corporate uh, corruption or alleged corporate c corruption. So essentially what was alleged to have happened is um, and, and we don't know the answers to this question, is that either the Prime Minister or somebody in the Prime Minister's office, something happened by which it was suggested, or alleged to have suggested, I'm not even sure at this point what's going on, that influence was put on her to use her office to interfere politically in the outcome of this particular case. So, uh, um, this is a really serious accusation. It's very... Uh, serious to it's very clear that we need to find out what happened here and this is why you know I've come to you and I've talked to you about this we've we've forced meetings at the Justice Committee to try and get to the bottom of this for those of you who have been following this issue you know that the Liberal uh, majority members on the Justice Committee turned that meeting into a farce saying basically that the they believe that the Prime Minister the Prime Minister saying nothing to see here folks we're just gonna move on with things um, and and just to be clear, everybody has been pilloried. Every liter, uh, liberal member that made these comments have been pilloried, even by the mainstream media here in Ottawa. Uh, some of the comments that we've heard, and, and the story has changed so many times. Uh, Justin Trudeau came out and said that Jody Wilson-Raybould didn't get shuffled out of cabinet uh, uh, for any other reason other than another cabinet minister, Scott Bryson, resigned. Like, what's that? Like, come on. Um, the, the justice, the new justice minister, David Lametti, gave this disastrous interview on Evan Solomon's show um, uh, about a week ago where he was just all over the place on speculating about what happened and, uh, you know, what could happen and basically saying that he felt like nothing needed to be investigated. It, it was bizarre. Then we have the chair of the Justice Committee, the Liberal chair of the Justice Committee, suggests that Wilson Braybould was shuffled out because she couldn't speak French. Uh, in the midst of all of this like it was just it was beyond the pale. It's been ridiculous and then yesterday to bring you up to speed if you don't know um, Gerald Butts the Prime Minister's principal secretary resigned out of thin air He didn't list a reason outside of you know sort of Alluding to this fact, but for those of you who don't know who Gerald Butts is this isn't some like junior staffer uh, a lot of people consider Gerald Butts to be the Prime Minister himself. Like, if you're here in Ottawa, it's generally considered that Gerald Butts is the most powerful man in Ottawa by a lot of people. I, 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 I wouldn't like to think that, but this is the guy that is widely sort of seen as the person behind Trudeau's decisions. So, um, this is this is big news. It kind of rocked the Ottawa scene, but, you know, it, all of that aside, this to me, this is inside baseball. What you need to understand is that that man wouldn't resign, have resigned, if something hadn't happened. This this really raises more questions than anything. And I think you know this is sort of a, a desperate attempt. You know, if you were, I'm, I'm in Ottawa today. Obviously, the house is sitting. If you were out here, you would sort of feel the disarray that's in the Liberal cabinet, in the caucus. Everybody's very concerned on that side of the house because this is this is a big deal, right? And moreover, Justin Trudeau has been out saying all these things. David Lametti, the new justice minister, has been saying all these things. The, the, the chair of the uh, um, Justice Committee has been saying all these things. But Jody Wilson-Raybould herself hasn't been speaking because apparently, and she's, I think she put this out in the media, I'm not sure though, people are essentially saying that Justin Trudeau has this client solicitor uh, relationship, whereas since Jody Wilson-Raybould was internal attorney general for Canada, in this instance, I guess Justin Trudeau would have been her client so, so that she can't speak. I, it's all very bizarre because you have, you know, the woke prime minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, Mr. So-called feminist, basically doing a he said she said except it's he said 
she can't speak and say what happened. So I, the most bizarre thing happened today. There apparently was a four hour cabinet meeting. And, and just to be clear, Jody Wilson-Raybould resigned from cabinet last week. She, she flat out resigned from cabinet and she had been demoted in the shuffle, but she flat out resigned from cabinet, but she was in this four hour cabinet meeting today, according to several reports. So there's a lot of questions with, with regard to this. Why, if Jody Wilson-Raybould is no longer in cabinet, was she in this cabinet meeting? What was said? What happened? You know, we, we, we grilled the Prime Minister in question period today. We didn't get any answers. Um, my colleague Pierre Polyev, um, I believe it was Pierre Polyev and Leona Olislav, asked point blank if anybody had been interviewed from, by the RCMP on this. We got a very ambiguous answer on that. Um, so uh, what is going on here? To me, I am watching this as you know, an elected representative trying to hold the government to account. And what I'm seeing is a lot of liberals doing a lot of things in backroom meetings. And for those of you who have followed the Liberal Party over the years, A, that's ten that tends to be how they operate, and B, I'm tired of all of this stuff happening uh, in backroom meetings. So I just found out that after this whole Justice Committee debacle, Apparently now Jody Wilson-Raybould may go to the Justice Committee, we don't know, to testify, but we don't know if she's going to be able to speak with her client attorney um, privilege waived. So we don't know if she's going to sit there and say, I don't know, or I, I don't understand what happened here. So she felt convicted strongly enough to resign from cabinet over this, and then Gerald Butts resigned from cabinet. Like, what, like, what happened in this in this cabinet meeting, what what sort of backroom deals are happening? The bottom line is, at this point in time, we need a public inquiry. We need an inquiry into this, into what exactly happened here, because these allegations are very serious. They're allegations of blatant political influence from the highest levels of government into our judicial system, into a criminal case. So that's that's a big deal. So two things that you need to know. Uh, are happening today. There's a motion on the floor of the House of Commons to do two things for the just uh, for the Prime Minister to waive the um, uh, client solicitor privilege that uh, he is claiming Jody Wilson Rabel has. And the second thing is to have a public inquiry. So the Liberals today, when they stood up in the House of Commons, they were just kind of giving these very academic responses as to, uh, you know, wh why, th why they shouldn't be giving answers to Canadians, and that's not good. So I, I, I don't know how they're going to vote for that, but if you know a Liberal member of Parliament or have their phone number, you should be phoning them and telling them to vote in favor of this motion. Uh, so, so, so that's happening. Uh, and then I believe the Justice Committee is meeting this afternoon to figure out what's going on there. The, the, the reality is, though, is um, the the prime minister in question period today, he he was all over the map with his answers. He wasn't, you know, he started off by giving answers, basically lauding Gerald Butts and saying, oh, you know, he has all these, res he has respect for institutions. Well, if you have respect for institutions, then we should be able to figure out, Canadians should have answers to the allegations of influence and 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 political interference in, in the justice system in a public venue, not whatever happened in a closed door meeting today. So this kind of reeks like of a cover up. Um, I really think that there uh, needs to be uh, an arm's length agency involved in looking at this at this point in time, because I mean, how, like, if Jody Wilson, is Jody Wilson-Raybould back on the team? If so, why? Like, why did she feel so compelled to resign and then all of a sudden she's back in cabinet? I, I just, this just smells to high heaven. I, Gerald Butts wouldn't have quit for, for no reason. Uh, so we are working to get to the bottom of this, but I wanna, I, I wanna leave you with this. Uh, today in Ottawa, just outside my office, and I, I, you know, I saw where they were all parked this morning, there were many, many, trucks who drove across the country. And if any of you have made that drive from Alberta all the way to Ottawa, you know it's like, it's not, it's a long drive. It takes a lot of time to come here to essentially say, we need a pipeline bill. We need to scrap bill C-69, the no more pipelines bill. Um, that is one, the, the pipeline issue, carbon tax, deficits, uh, the issues that we're having with detained Canadians in China, tariffs with the United States. There are so many issues that 
we need to resolve in this country. And, and what's the prime minister doing? I mean, like, who's running the show? This is crazy. So um, we, we obviously are going to be pushing the government to get answers on the SNC-Lavalin uh, issue that's coming out of the PMO right now. But we also need to uh, make sure that we are holding the government to account on these issues. But this is a campaign year, and I'm just going to be very honest with you. To me, more than anything, this, this, how, how, the, how the Prime Minister's office has, has dealt with this shows that they're just not fit to govern. I, I mean, I've known that for some time. You've known that for some time. But this, I mean, anybody who is looking at Canada right now and looking at Justin Trudeau is going, like, they would just say, look, this is a politically unstable country. That's crazy. Um, we need to get back to order and stability in this country as soon as possible. And uh, that's why it's so important for you to be sharing these messages. I, I ask you to share these messages, um, subscribe to my page, etc., just so you can stay up to date with some of these updates, but also getting out and, and talking to friends and neighbors about uh, the fact that Justin Trudeau needs to go. I think there's a lot of people that voted for Justin Trudeau um, that are rightly disappointed him at, in him at this point in time. And we need to just get that message across to the country that he's a complete failure. And we need a stable conservative government to uh, ensure that Canada has prosperity and stability and order. And I, I mean, I didn't even talk to you about the whole border issue. There's a million things that came up today as well. Um, look, we're gonna keep holding the government to account here in Ottawa. We are gonna be definitely preparing uh, for a campaign uh, this year, but this SNC-Lavalin thing is just it's crazy. And uh, you should be demanding answers. We're gonna continue to do that this week. No more liberal backroom meeting deals. We need answer. Working hard for you in Ottawa. Have a great day.